AG Baby is your baby. Actually, no. AG Baby has a baby. <laughs> Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Ibirun Keltushile. I hope you're all doing well and I hope you're all doing fine. As the title suggests, I will be reacting to Ari Kunle Gold's latest single, Something Different. No, this isn't a reaction channel, but Ari Kunle Gold is my guy, so I have to do this. For those of you that do not know, June is Black Music Month, initiated by President Jimmy Carter. So it only makes sense that I react to Ari Kunle Gold's latest drop, especially because Ari Kunle is my guy. And it's just it, it just so happened to be that he conveniently dropped this song yesterday. Shoutouts to Apple Music that blocked off every other station aside from the black stations so that black music can be celebrated this month. Although they did shut off and disable everybody's camera on the bridge at a protest in New York sometime last week. Thank you though for celebrating black music with us. Now, what are my expectations for this song? I expect this song to to have good vibes, for it to have good visuals, for it to have meaning, just because it's Ari Kunle Gold and that's what he does, his songs, if they're not just something that you can at least like look at in a music video, at least the words make a lot of sense. I don't know if this song will be in English or in Yoruba. I haven't listened to it at all. I just saw a picture that said it's out now. I did want to mention that Ade Kunle Gold and Simi, his wife, just had their first child, Ade Jari. So I'm not ent entirely sure if this song has anything to do with it, but I did want to read a letter that he penned to his daughter. Maybe, just maybe, this is a sequel to Duduket that his wife, Simi, sang before the birth of their child. Ari Kunle Gold writes, it's been a lot, right? I know. The violence against women, against black people, and this pandemic was just too much. I had to log out for a bit. I had to check out to prepare a healthy mind and safe space to welcome my child into the world. And even though I've had sad feelings throughout the day about the crisis outside, when I am with my baby, it's pure, unadulterated joy. I cried so much when Ade Jari came out. I cried when I first held her. I can't lie, I still stare at her and shed a few more, lol. It feels like an obsession, really. If someone else is holding Deja, I miss her. I love our skin to skin time, I love feeding her, I love changing her diapers, I love everything, including the insomnia. I'm obsessed with all her expressions. You need to see her staying face, it's hilarious. I have never seen any baby this beautiful. I mean it. My baby came out with a full, with a head full of hair like mine and most and the most beautiful face I've ever seen like Simi. Wow. I feel so protective over her and everything happening right now has made me even more conscious of how I want to raise her. I want her to always know she is loved. She is powerful. She is pure black girl magic and I will always believe in her. I know we are fighting for so much right now. So much pain and insensitivity of the past generations are haunting us. I hope we don't quit fighting for women's rights too, because I truly believe if our women are empowered and allowed to lead, we all would be so much better for it. I know this firsthand because Simi is powerful and my life is better for it. While we fight for today's problems, let's also fight for our future. We must also ensure we don't raise our children with the same consciousness that raised us. We must raise sons who respect value and revere women and raise daughters that are strong and fearless. That we raise children who speak up and stand up for what is right. That we raise children who don't continue the cycle of abuse, fear, secrecy, and insensitivity that has plagued our own generation and the ones before us. I pray for justice for all the victims and that if the hand of the law isn't as swift enough, that the hand of God will do his thing. Above all, I wish that even in this madness, you find pockets of sunshine that help you breathe and reconnect with yourself and that you have reasons to feel alive and happy. I'm hugging and kissing and praying over my unemployed princess while supporting everyone in all the other ways I can. I pray you are doing the same too. Sending you loads of love. AG Baby is your baby. Scratch that. AG Baby has a baby. All right, let's get right on into it. So the song is two minutes and 58 seconds long. Okay. 
me like a loto. All you want is my dodo. I even buy you moto. Oh, fire chips. Wait, 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 wait. So, what I've noticed so far is Adekunle is staying true to himself with the what looks like a kufi and has strings coming down. That's so very reminiscent of the olden times, the kings in Yoruba land. Their crowns looked like this, where they would have the hat part and then they'd have the different strings or beads, whatever, whatever what have you, covering their face. Um, this is so Adekunle go because he's so african he's so nigerian so yoruba with it i'm surprised i haven't seen adire uh, yet in this video because i didn't only be wearing full-on suits also i noticed cyra chips in it she is a dancer from new york what i noticed he said was you said no honey with no money girl that's the truth if you don't got no money you ain't getting no honey I'm sorry, I had to pause that because Adekunle is attempting to dance and we all know this man cannot dance. Um, so it's funny to watch, but it seems like he is getting better with his dance moves. Also, I can tell so far that this song has nothing to do with his new baby, so it's not a sequel to Dudu Ke, but it's still good, so it doesn't matter. I'm getting very Caribbean, West Indian vibes from the sound of it. I have no clue where this is, but that background looks nothing like Nigeria. Oh wait, I also forgot to say that this, the visuals look very trippy. <laughs> and I don't know if I'm supposed to be under the influence of anything. Because I'm looking at it like, yo, what's what's, what's going on? <laughs> I'm trying to understand the correlation between the trippiness of the video and the song. I'm I'm like listening to the words as the trippiness is going on. It's not yet clicking for me, but we shall see if it clicks later on. Which one I do do? I high key did not understand that ending. I'm not even gonna pretend. I'm like trying to see, you know, I'm I'm trying to think back to all my English literature, how they taught us to decipher different tropes and stuff going on, and I have absolutely no clue what that ending was. But basically what I got from this video was that he's asking a girl to love him and the girl doesn't want to love him. In short, like every other Nigerian song. But I will say I liked the vibes of it all i did say that i was expecting vibes and i got that from this video visuals were nice visuals were not what i was expecting though 
but they were still nice and at least the song did have meaning even if it's not the meaning that i wanted it to have i think i was just so hell-bent on it being about his newborn daughter I, I guess i was disappointed that it didn't meet my expectations that does not mean that it wasn't a good that it isn't a good song or that it isn't a great video so let me know what you think about it down in the comment section below and remember that ag baby is still your baby and i remain your girl be your own character chalet if you liked what you saw please do hit the like button and subscribe and turn on the bell so you can be notified of whenever i upload toodles